Hello and welcome to Little Learners. In today's video we're going to be looking at some activities you can use to help children when they're learning their number bonds to 10. Don't forget to give this video a like if you find it helpful and without further ado, let's get started. Now probably one of the most obvious and easy resources we have when learning number bonds to 10 are our own fingers. Children can use their fingers to find out which numbers match up to make 10. The great thing about using your fingers is that there are only 10 of them, so children will always be working with number bonds to 10. If you want to make this a little bit more exciting, you can make a handy counting hand companion. So all the children need to do is draw around their hands, cut them out so you have two the same, get a piece of card and stick the hands to the card. Remember only glue the palm of the hand, not the fingers. Children can then decorate the hands in whichever way they want. For the purpose of this video, I've just put on a few squiggles, but of course you can get a lot more creative than this to make them more exciting to look at. And then you can use them in exactly the same way as children would use their own fingers but it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Slightly bend each of the fingers over so that they are usable as bendy fingers and then just as you would bend your own fingers over, bend some of the fingers down to find your number bond to 10. So for example, bend down three fingers and then count the remaining fingers left. Three and seven makes 10. Don't forget it's really important that children know that they have 10 fingers, so you might want to start off counting how many fingers you have all together. You can of course use this method for any number bond to 10. Moving on, we can use other resources for learning number bonds to 10 too. For example, you can use something like Unifix Cubes or Numicon to give a visual representation of number bonds to 10 using colours. First of all, you'll need one tower that has 10 cubes in it, that's my white one here, and that tower does not get broken apart. Next, you give children other towers and they can compare them to the first tower using the colours and counting to find number bonds to 10. Children can either use trial and error like I just did with the green and red blocks or they can use the first tower to work out how many more cubes they need. This activity of matching towers together means that you're giving children options and they have to find the pairs. Of course as children get a little bit more skilled with this you can give them their starting tower and then they can use the blocks individually to find their own number bonds to 10. Having the colours is a really great visual indicator of what quantities work together to make 10. Next up, we have something that looks more like a sorting activity or a sharing activity. We have two plates and then 10 objects. I'm of course using these sparkly stars, but you can use absolutely anything you like, any kind of resources you have in your classroom, as long as you've got 10 of them. Children can then share them between the plates and count how many they have in each, just like I'm doing here. So here we have found that eight and two together make 10. Children can then start moving their objects or counters across the plates to find different number bonds to 10. Don't forget, it's very important at the beginning of this exercise that children understand there are 10 objects altogether. If you've watched my video on my educational toys haul from Wish, you might recognise this kit. There are these colourful sticks and also some numerals as well. Using the colourful sticks again is a great visual indicator of number bonds to 10. But with this kit, I'm not only limiting the children to having 10 objects, I'm giving them a lot more than 10 objects so that they have to find 10 in total themselves. This can make it a little bit more tricky because they have to make sure that they're not just getting 9 overall or 11 overall, for example. Once children can use the resources to make number bonds to 10 with quantity, they can then start using the numerals to represent this in a number sentence. 
So once children start to understand more about quantity and how different quantities work together to make 10, you can extend their learning by bringing in numerals and writing or creating number bond sentences. So for example here, we have made sure that we have 10 rods overall. We found we have eight yellow ones, so we select the numeral eight and two green ones, so we select the numeral two. Eight and two make 10. Now this method of using the numerals to represent our quantities and building number sentences of course works with any of the activities that we've used in this video so far and it's great to return to activities you've done in the past and extend them a little bit by adding in numerals. Of course it's also important to discuss what the different symbols mean like the addition sign and the equal sign. So, for example, here you can see we've returned to our handy counting hands and we've added numerals in so now we're building a number sentence as well as using the resource that we made earlier. So, those are some activity ideas you can use with children to support their understanding of number bonds to 10. I do hope you found this video helpful, if you did please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.